This will be for the CUDA software worksheet dividing polynomials. So just as a quick example, and this is not on the worksheet, when you're dividing these polynomials, it will be similar to the way you divided in grammar school. So let's say, for example, you have 171 divided by 4. Okay, you would put the 4 out front, and that would go into 171. Okay, 4 does not go into 1, but 4 goes into 17 4 times. Then you would do 4 times 4 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. Bring down the 1. 4 goes into 11 2 times, and then you would do 2 times 4 is 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. And that 3 is going to be your remainder. Okay, the 3 goes over the 4. So the answer would be 42 and 3 fourths. Okay, so we're going to be doing this same thing just with polynomials. All right, let's look at number one. And before I write anything, I want to remind people that when we write these, they want to be in order of decreasing exponents. Okay, so here the exponent is 2. Here the exponent is 1. Here the exponent is zero. So the larger exponents go first. Anyhow, we're dividing by m minus eight. So that goes out front, m minus eight. And that is gonna go into m squared minus seven m minus 11. All right. So we start by doing m squared divided by m. That's just m. Another way to look at it, you can say what times m will give you m squared. That's just m. All right, once you write that, you distribute. m times m is m squared. m times negative 8 is negative 8m. All right, you want to subtract this whole thing. So use parentheses m squared minus m squared is zero. And here we have two negatives in a row, so that makes it positive. Negative seven m plus eight m is just one m. And you bring down your negative 11. Okay, and then you start over doing the same thing. We're asking ourselves what times m will give us one m? Well, that's just positive one. Okay, you can also look at it as m divided by m is 1. Distributing, 1 times m is 1m, and 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. Okay, we want to subtract. Subtract the whole thing, so use parentheses. 1m minus 1m is 0. And here we have the two negatives in a row again. Minus negative 8 makes it positive. So ne negative 11 plus 8 is negative 3. Okay, there's nothing left to bring down. So that negative 3 is the remainder. And that is going to go over m minus 8. So we have negative 3 over m minus 8. Okay, and this whole thing here, so I erased uh, m squared here. No, this was just m. This whole thing here is the answer. Okay, and by the way, for the remainder, you can write it like this, or you can also write plus negative 3 over m minus 8. Okay, this would be the same thing as this here. This is negative 3 and this is plus negative 3. Same thing. All right, let's look at number 11. We're dividing by x minus 8, so I'm going to put that out front. And that's going to go into x squared minus 74. 
Now remember, we want to do decreasing exponents, but we want them to decrease by one at a time. So I'm going to write the x squared first. And since there's no x to the first power, or just plain x, I am going to add a 0x to this. All right, anything times 0 is just 0. So adding 0x really adds nothing. Okay, and then finally minus 74. So you see now the exponents go 2, 1, and then 0. So they count down by 1. So if, there's, if one of the terms is missing, just add 0 times that term. All right, now it's just the same as before. x squared divided by x is just x. Distributing, x times x is x squared. x times negative 8 is negative 8x. All right, we're subtracting this whole thing, so use parentheses. x squared minus x squared is 0. 0x minus negative 8x makes it positive. So 0 plus 8 is 8, and we still have the x. All right, bring down the negative 74. And now 8x divided by x is just positive 8. Or you can ask yourself, what times x will give you 8x? Same thing. Distributing, 8 times x. And then 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. All right, once again, subtract this whole thing. Use parentheses. 8x minus 8x is 0. The two negatives in a row make it positive. Negative 74 plus 64 is going to be negative 10. Okay, there's nothing left to bring down, so this negative 10 is the remainder. All right, so the remainder is going to go over x minus 8. So we have minus 10 over x minus 8. And that right there is your final answer. Okay, let's look at number 17. Remember, we want larger exponents first. So here we have k to the first power, and here we have no exponent. So the k is going to be written first. So instead of 3 plus k, I'm going to do k plus 3. And that goes into this right here. The larger exponents are first. So k to the third is first. Negative 4k squared is second. Negative 30k is third. And negative 18 is last. Okay, and we're going to do k to the third divided by k. And that's just k squared. Okay, or you can say what times k will give you k to the third. That's just k squared. Distributing k squared times k. And then k squared times positive 3 positive 3k squared. Subtract this whole thing, use parentheses. k to the third minus k to the third is 0. And negative 4k squared minus 3k squared. Well, negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. And we still have k squared. Okay, bring down your negative 30k. All right, negative 7. We'll do the numbers and letters separately, okay? Pretend there's just a 1 here. Negative 7 divided by 1 is negative 7. 
and k squared divided by k is just k. Okay, distributing. Uh, negative 7 times 1 is negative 7, and k times k is k squared. Distribute to the other term, negative 7k times 3 is negative 21k. All right, subtract this whole thing, use parentheses. Uh, the two negatives in a row make it positive. So negative 7k squared plus 7k squared, that's zero. Two negatives in a row make it positive. Negative 30 plus 21 is negative nine, and we still have the k. All right, bring down the last term, which is negative 18. All right, so last one, or last part, negative 9k divided by k is just negative 9. All right, distributing, negative 9 times k is negative 9k. Distributing to the other term, negative 9 times 3 is negative 27. All right, subtract this whole thing. Uh, two negatives in a row make it positive. Negative 9 plus 9 is 0. Two negatives in a row make it positive. Negative 18 plus 27 is just 9. All right, there's nothing left to bring down, so the 9 is the remainder. Okay, so that 9 is divided by x plus 3. So on the end, we have plus 9 over x plus 3. Okay, and that whole thing, I'll circle it in a different color, that whole thing is the final answer. All right, make sure you do the same on number 18. Put the larger exponents first. Put the k before the negative 1. This will be k minus 1. All right, last one. Please pause and try number 20. The exponents are already in order. All right, we'll start with 5k minus 4 out front. And that is divided by 50k to the third. plus 10k squared minus 35k minus 7. All right. Do the numbers and letters separate if it helps you. 50, I'll do it in a different color. 50 divided by 5 is 10. And k to the third divided by k is k squared. All right, distributing. 10 times 5 is 50. And k squared times k is k to the third. And distributing. 10 times negative 4 is negative 40. And we still have k squared. There's no k right here. All right, subtract this whole thing. 50k to the third minus 50k to the third is zero. Two negatives in a row make it positive. 10 plus 40 is 50. And we still have k squared. Bring down your next term, negative 35k. All right. So 50 divided by 5 is 10. K squared divided by K is K. All right, distributing. 10 times 5 is 50. K times K is K squared. Distributing to the other term, 10K times negative 4 is negative 40K. All right, subtract this whole thing. Use parentheses. 50 minus 50, k squared, that's just 0. 
Two negatives right here are positive. Negative 35 plus 40 is 5, and we still have the K. Okay, bring down your last term. Negative 7. All right, 5K divided by 5K is positive 1. Distributing, 1 times 5K is 5K. And then 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Okay, subtract this whole thing. 5K minus 5K is 0. Two negatives in a row make it positive. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. There is nothing left to bring down, so this negative 3 is a remainder, okay? And that goes over 5K minus 4. So we have negative 3 over 5K minus 4, okay? I don't want to confuse you. This negative sign is applied to the fraction, so really it's applied to the numerator, all right, and that mess, I erased the k squared. Okay, so that's k squared. And this whole mess right here is the answer. Okay, and I highly recommend you check your answers on pages three and four. This part here in red is the answer. So. I see we got this correct.